Now, C.O. Pimenza is a lawyer. I am not a lawyer. He was asked specifically at the table where he went for the sitting. And then he was asked whether he is a member of the MPP or not. He said he's a sympathizer of the MPP, the UP tradition, and not a member. In fact, the chairman, Atacha, tried so much to not to let him answer that question. The chairman said it has far-reaching consequences on the benefits that he may get if he retires. So he should not answer the question. And that the chairman even said that you could be a member and not be a card-bearing member. Then Patrick Buama, who is also a lawyer, stepped in and literally outruled the chairman, overruled him. We saw it. It was on TV. He said he was a sympathizer, not a member. Now news is out that he has said that he wants to contest the Bekwaya seat. Bekwaya. Joe Aseusu's seat. He wants to contest it on the ticket of the MPP because he has been a card member of the MPP. I don't know what Pedri looks like. What Pedri sounds like. But this James Jachi question is being held at the principle of perjury. COP Mensa, play the video for me. That is captured here as having been made by the witness. Especially when he indicated that I have been MPP member since long. long Jen, we don't, we don't have too much time. Play, play the third one for me, the third video of this series. Tomorrow I'll play these ones for you. To contest for. And why do you think you are qualified to contest? Yes, as I, I've already said to other people, I have been a member of the United Party or UP for a very long time. My parents were UP and I've been in that party for a very long time. But you see, once you join certain public services, you cannot do active politics. But that doesn't mean that you cannot be a member of the political parties. You can be, but you cannot do active politics. What you have to make sure is that you being a member of that political party will not influence your professionalism in your chosen field of work. Let's talk about the standards. You were not in active politics. Does that mean that you were paying your dues? And yeah, sometimes right. they will say, you contributing to the local development of the party. Have you been doing that? Yes, of course, I've, I've been doing it. Mm. But you know that you have to do it underground. So what, you shouldn't be active. What were some of the activities you did back in your constituency that you think, yes, indeed, you have contributed to the forward march of the party in the constituency that you think you are capable of contesting and winning? Oh, a lot of things, and I think the party members over there themselves, you know. You know, we are all in this country, you know, that there are certain people, you will never see them campaigning for any political party. But the moment that political party wins power, you see that they have been appointed as ministers, as this, as that. You know, everybody has his way of contributing to the political party. Mm. But once you're a public servant, like when you were a public servant, you have to make sure that you, know, you don't do active politics. But that does not mean you cannot do politics. I'm not active. Do you have a party ID card? Yes, I do. Chance How long have you been holding it? Oh. I cannot even uh, know the date because it's a long time. Do you pay your dues? Your know, party dues is not something that, you know, most of these parties, they don't even collect dues. Mm. All you have to do is to make sure that you are contributing to the party. Mm. But you have to make sure that your membership does not affect your professionalism in your work. If you go and steal an employee officer so after arrest you, it doesn't matter whether you are a PPNDC or CPP, you have to be arrested. John is right. So he confirmed what the chairman tried so hard not to let him answer. He says there has far reaching consequences. The answer that the public were watching TV and hoping that the chairman would have allowed the gentleman to answer, which the chairman tried all he could not to let him answer. 
And that's a, that video is there. It's out in the public domain. Too. I don't have too much time, so I, I'm not able to play for you. But the back and forth, the back and forth. The man has answered the question. He says he's not only a sympathizer, he has a party card and cannot even remember how long he has held the party card. Politician in police clothing. Now, I ask, I ask the question again. If you have a politician in police clothing and he sees you to be on the other side and you go and report a crime to him or some injustice to him, how would he go about it? So now the, the, what the committee is afraid to let the people know, I have showed it here on Johnny's Bite. Now we are watching the committee. We are watching the Attorney General. You are holding James Jackie Quisson on the note of perjury. Even when he has showed you a certificate. Say, appear in court every single day. You want to put him in jail. This is your party member. He has perjured himself because he appeared before a committee, swore under oath, and said he is not a Cadbury member. He's a sympathizer. Guided by the chairman of the committee and Patrick Boa central MP. Now I have brought you incorrigible evidence. And he is a lawyer. He understands that nothing convicts a man faster than his words. So now we are watching lawyer Atachian. We are watching Attorney General Godfrey Dami. We are watching police prosecution. We are watching all of you. How you will go about this?